Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, we are just about ready to go with this UFC championship fight. He won his last fight by submission. So that there's watching stylistically in this matchup here tonight. Can he do it again? He said, if I got to go five, five whole rounds, I'm not afraid to do so. But obviously, the focus yet again is on the finish. He believes there will be some openings that he can capitalize. Let's get underway. Oh, an educated jet. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Pettis. Nice punch here. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he connects there. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Mixes. Let's go, you can do this. Nice kick with the right hand. That is gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, his these are bad. up for the UFC lightweight division title. Special athlete is thus before you. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the fame canvas here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range. Hitting you with a beautiful jab. Staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Assassin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. And what a fight it was for him his last time out, winning the belt by vicious knockout. We're expecting massive pay-per-view buys here tonight because when you turn in a result like that in a championship setting, your fan base kicks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Okay. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice shot by Poirier. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head. Land a beautiful punch. 
really has got his opponent on those here. Very Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, stops oh, the takedown without at that. issue. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Poirier. Back to his feet. Shot a double leg. Oh, slams his opponent to the ground. Take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. The moment he finds those opportunities to really drive his knee home, drive it into your body. He out of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even after we saw them. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Right just out of range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Poirier gets the tie clinch right, here. So now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow. Try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. <laughs> Who could have pictured this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special, but with this, this is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And top. Good. All right, at the end of the night, though, Remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> right, let's go. Good. That's it. Well, what a moment we have got in front of us tonight, and for this fighter, one win away from UFC immortality. He became a UFC champion in one division, and tonight he will try to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. Absolutely incredible what can be accomplished in front of our eyes tonight. Kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out 
Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, the assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Rafael Dos Anjos. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners, back your Well, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, and this is one of the biggest fights in UFC history because this man is trying to become a two-division UFC champion. He made the walk with one belt. He's looking to leave with two. Let's see if he can get off to a good start, as he's done in the past. Let's see if he can get off to a good start tonight. All right, he closes the distance. He has the single collar guy. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Right, he engages in the second. Big the knee. What a fantastic Oh, the knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Los Santos gets the takedown. Useful. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Switching stances here. Rotates the lock and throws it way through the air. What a massive takedown. Oh, doubling up on the knee. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, working hard to... He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Changes his stance. Up, oh, take it down, cut. Take it down, cut. Over and over. Securing his take down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Huge kick to the leg. And now he lands a combination. An uppercut landed. As he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg. And, he's... and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. In round two. Changes his stance. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Ooh, head kick lands, hurt. Nice loop and punch. Back and forth we go. Again, in the clinch. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press the intent 
on landing. This, this is you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough to even be on his feet right now. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, nice job working on the books. Highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. Round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now to the top position? Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Solid strike on the ground. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. The overhand... And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take. Back oh! They touch blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. the list of the greatest fighters in UFC history, a future Hall of Famer as he becomes a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Some suggested maybe he was biting off more than he can chew. The naysayers are eating crow right now. You are staring at a two-division UFC champion. Our most sincere congratulations.